G'day folks, my name's Peter and I'm from Mojo Strengths. Mojo Strengths, why? Well, I just wanted to put the mojo back into people's training. That's why I called it Mojo Strengths. This is a really, really little training facility and it's situated in Australia, Sydney, somewhere in the eastern suburbs. How do you get in here? You've got to be invited. Only way. There's no phone number, there's no signs, nothing. This is tucked away in a little industrial area. 50 square metres, it's about 150 square feet, 160 square feet. We got a few guys coming in, a few ladies coming in. As I said, it's all invite only and they've got to be passionate. If they're passionate, wait, they can stay. If they're not passionate, they want to come here and talk to people, there's the door, piss off, go to a commercial gym because that's what they're for, right? Now, with further to do, let's go and have a quick look around what we got and uh, Welcome to Mojo Strengths. Okay, we'll start off over here. We'll start off with the grip work. Here we've got uh, homemade rolling thunder. It took about uh, 10 minutes to whip up. It's just a bit of pipe. And that's a big lump of steel that I found somewhere. We've got some med balls. We've got a uh, lifting belt and some various plates, odds and ends that came from somewhere, no idea where they came from. Uh, there's a bit more grip work there, we'd use our, for our pinch gripping. We've got our trap bar there in the corner, that's from the Australian Barbell Company in Melbourne. This is a power rack, this one was bought new. That one was bought off from eBay along with a bench, and that was uh, very cheap, have a look. Some uh, weight trees, as you can see we're using mostly Mostly standard plates, don't be worried about that guys, because as long as they're heavy, they work. Here we've got our logo, Mojo Strength. Not bad, eh? Here we have some photos, these were sent to me by the one and only Brooks Cubic. That's the big Doug Hepburn there. That's uh, John Grimmick in his prime. And the uh, 1947 World Championship poster of the American uh, weightlifting team. Here on the wall we've got our micro plates, fractional plates, 300 grams. And these are maybe 100 grams. You guys can work that out in the answers, I've got no idea. We've got some more bars over there. Just easy curl bars, straight bars, whatever. Foam roller. We've got a few chains here, they weigh about probably 10 kilos each, they're just lifting chains, you can see they've still got the hooks on them and I've just sort of like wrapped them around and we've got a few of those. Here on the floor we've got these things here, no idea what they are, they're about 20 kilos, 25 kilos and another two or 20 kilos. Uh, kettlebells, some for the girls, some for the boys. I've got some uh, adjustable dumbbells. Here we've got some lifting straps. Now these here, I bought these for 12 bucks each from a lifting company. So if you look around, they're great for pulling the sled, doing ab work, that sort of thing. We've got some bands there as well up on the wall. We've got our one and only machine, which is our glute ham developer. Great piece of equipment. We've got some sleds on the sledges on the wall. They're 10 pound and 12 pound. A couple of grippers, 150 pound, 200 pound. We've got a couple of more barbells there for warming up. No idea where those come from either. This bar here made a fat bar, just a standard bar, and I welded a pipe onto the collars. And inside the collars is our Olympic bar. Olympic weights. These uh, this tree here, I made it the other day. Put it on wheels so we can get it around. The black spray paint looks great. Some more various plates down there. Sandbags, 25 kilos, 35 kilos, and that one there's about 60 kilos. We've got the Bulgarian bags, homemade. Have a look on YouTube. You get your old inner tubes from a tyre company for nothing. Just find out where the hole is and maybe put one inside the other so they don't leak sand. Battling ropes, pulling ropes, Kegs, full kegs, half full kegs. These two steel boards here, we throw them in the power rack and do sandbag loading onto them. These two uh, farmer's walk implements here, just welded them up out of a couple of I-beams, put some handles on them, 
and I stuck these rods here so we can add extra weight. They weigh about 45 kilos each, which is about uh, 100 pound each. What else we got? We've got a uh, climbing rope here. It's up there, five meters long, and it's only upper body strength that we're allowed to use to get to the top, touch the ring, come back down. No legs allowed. Over here, what do we got? We've got our homemade prowler. Again, this is just out of scrap metal, scrap bits and pieces. I found a triangular shaped thing. It must have been an old York station or something. It was dumped on the side of the road. And I said, beauty, there's my prowler. Welded some uh, skids on it. A couple of handles, plates, prowler. Beautiful. Another bench there. We go outside. We've got our tyres here. We've got this truck tyre here. Now if you can see, I put a ring through it. And there's a chain and we use it for our sled pulling. We've got a medium size tyre there. That's for the smaller guys and the girls. And we have three bigger tyres there. And then this is where we do our tyre flips, our sled pulls, warm-ups, jumping and that sort of thing. So there you have it. Welcome to Mojo Strength. It's only a little place, but very functional as you can see. So guys, thanks for your time. And uh, hope to see you one day at uh, Mojo Strength. Cheers.